very important. Very important. Who talks like that? You sure you want to sit down and do this? Mm -mm. Okay. After this, resting. Miss, I want to reduce everything. I love you. Come here. You have a production. I'm not part of this side of the production. with postpartum bleeding, I bled a lot. Here are my herbs. I have some soursop, calendula, rosemary, rose petals, and plantain leaf and sea salt. I'm gonna first add in my plantain leaf. All of these herbs are hand-picked and intentionally picked for postpartum healing. Take calendula. And then my plantain leaf. Thank my herbs, set my intention. Thank you for healing my womb, for allowing me to release blood in an easy and healthy way, for me to release things that do not serve me, to release blood that does not serve me, my baby, or my lineage, to restore sacred healing, adding in the rosemary. Thank you for nourishing my womb and bringing me a happy, healthy baby. Thank you for healing and snapping back my yummy salt. I'm gonna add as well. Just as you would pray over your food, pray over your herbs. Put your intention into your herbs. Thank your herbs. Stir all this in. It smells amazing. Now that everything is well submerged, cover your herbs. Let it steep for like 20 minutes. Pour it into your bath and then relax and enjoy. But this is what I'm looking like about 30 hours postpartum. I'm gonna shower, let this steep, pour it in the bath and relax. So this is what the postpartum bath looks like. You don't want to overfill it too much because you want the water to be super potent and you want it to basically go right to your yoni. It smells amazing. Thank you so much. Honestly, this bath feels kind of like pepperminty. I don't know if it's the honey pot pad or if it's the postpartum bath, but it is very soothing. Definitely could have had the water a bit hotter. I should have emptied the water that I let soak in here because it was not hot enough. But I probably shouldn't be having hot water anyways with blood because cold water is better for, for blood, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna just let my yoni soak and enjoy my bath. How am I feeling postpartum? So obviously I bled a lot, like more than I thought I was gonna bleed. I didn't realize there was that much bleeding because I think a lot of the videos that I watched on YouTube, there wasn't a lot of blood. I had a lot of blood from the beginning. I didn't really break my water. My water kind of did a slow leak, but my mucus plug came out. And TMI kind of looked like discharge with blood so it wasn't like what you would think of me or what I thought a mucus plug looked like when it happened it was like I just consistently had to change my panty liner or toilet paper for and keep it real because my midwife was like if it keeps leaking then that was probably your water too but it wasn't like a gush of water like a lot of people experience if anything my back is a little bit sore but other than that I feel like I could have 20 more babies like tomorrow. My back is a little bit sore. I felt my arms out. It's a little bit sore. Yesterday, the day that I gave birth, I was fine, but I definitely felt the need to not stand up for long periods of time. But today I feel great. I feel normal. I miss my baby. 
but honestly taking a shower today versus my shower yesterday my shower yesterday wasn't like a real shower it was like rinse off and stand in the shower as long as you can and i actually ended up getting a bit dizzy when i was in the shower our water doesn't really get cold so you only really have the choice of having a warm or very hot shower and i think that's what made me a little bit lightheaded i still cannot believe that i gave birth like 35 hours ago i can't believe i gave birth in this tub first of all the home feels so sacred and so peaceful and my baby is more than I thought he would be. He's so sweet and I'm very grateful because he really did his thing. Honestly, I can't say that I did anything spectacular. I just listened to my baby. My baby led the way along with his ancestors and God. It's just incredible. It's a beautiful experience. If anyone is contemplating what kind of birth they want. I couldn't imagine having a baby in a hospital. I'm telling you, when I was going through my surges and I thought like, oh, I can go take a nap. When I laid in that bed, being on your back just does not make sense. That was the only thing that really like hurt bad. Um, you definitely, or at least for me, I definitely needed gravity to soothe my surges or actually work with my surges. But being able to like get up and walk and have options, whether you be in your bathroom, in the living room, standing up, hunched over, like I could not imagine being hooked up to IVs or having epidural and not being able to feel. Um, because although it was challenging at some points and it was a bit uncomfortable, when you learn how to breathe through your surges, when you are taught and guided by a midwife, um, or if you're called to do free birth and you educate yourself and you learn the female body, I feel like I could do anything. And to be honest, the pushing was the best part. Like the pushing was relief and the middle part of the contractions were probably the worst when I was on the bed. I'll call those contractions. Those weren't surges. I resonate with surges when you realize that the power is within you. And when you're able to work with your body and work with your baby, you can complement the surge. Contractions contract with you or with me, because this is my own definition of contractions. So I felt like when I was going against nature and against gravity, I was contracting, if that makes any sense. Um, but postpartum, I feel great. Um, I honestly did not expect a birth like that. And I think I had the most perfect birth story. Kai is amazing. My gentle warrior, he's amazing. My mom really came through and did a lot of the dirty work. I'm grateful. My baby's here, he's happy, he's healthy. And I'm enjoying this bath, enjoying this learning process. I just am so grateful for the women who found the courage to share their story because they're really the ones who taught me as well and made me feel confident that I could do this. Oh, I'm so grateful. Postpartum, I feel great. Is there soreness? Kinda. Does it hurt to pee? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? It's gonna snatch right up after this bath. I'm gonna probably take like three or four postpartum baths. Honestly, this postpartum bath definitely could be hotter. I feel like I'm in baby water right now because I should have heated up the water that was already in here. But I don't want to contradict the bleeding with hot water and continue to bleed. But yes, I think that's it for my talk on how I'm feeling postpartum. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and enjoy the rest of my bath. And if I feel like talking, I will press record and keep talking. actually 
I loved pregnancy and I'm definitely going to miss having my baby close because now I'm wondering what he's doing. But I know it's necessary to cleanse my womb and to heal and be kind to my yoni. Things that I definitely needed postpartum, I would say an herbal bath is a must. During my birthing process, being able to be mobile was a must. Being in warm water was a must. Learning how to separate tension from allowing was a must. As far as material things, I definitely didn't play my birth playlist as I thought I would as consistently. I actually listened to my meditation a lot more than I thought I was gonna listen, it, listen to it. The diffuser was nice, but to be honest, I don't even really remember it. Definitely, if you feel even the slightest bit that you are going to go through the birthing process, take a nap because I kind of feel like I was in a daze. I don't know if it's because I was in a different realm, like gathering and focusing on my baby or if I was in a daze because I was sleepy, but definitely wish I would have taken a nap. Things that are essential as well is having a team. My mom and Kai really came through for me. Um, we all worked really hard together and water during the birthing process and having a team that can prepare meals for you postpartum because you definitely need to fuel up with water as well as something to eat. Um, during the birthing process, I definitely drink water a few times, but you need more. Even right now, I can use some water. And there's water right there, but I don't wanna get up. So this is my birthing smoothie. This right here has barley grass. I'll be put some coconut in here, hemp seed, flax seed, banana, and sea moss. It's great. Other things that I needed for sure during postpartum or during my birthing process, to be honest, when you're in your own environment, I think that sets the tone for everything else. Because you feel safe, you feel comfortable, you know what everything is. If you want to change, you can change. If you want to redo your hair, you can redo your hair. But just be comfortable. Be in a comfortable environment. Have a lot of towels. They said to have a lot of towels, and I thought we had a lot of towels, but we definitely did not have enough towels. Another thing postpartum is have key pads and also have the bed pad because there's a lot of things that are releasing or there were a lot of things that were releasing out of me at least. And it was just blood. I definitely went through panties and towels. You're gonna wanna put the pee pads down, towels down, and a bed pad down. And change them frequently. Really good postpartum pads, or even like a postpartum diaper, if some of y'all are into like that. Um, and the crazy thing is, I don't have heavy moon cycles, but postpartum, it was, I that was the, probably the, the thing I um, didn't expect the most because no one really talked about that. Or maybe I just didn't see it visually. No one shared it, even though it is very explicit. Um, no one really shared if they did go through postpartum bleeding, but I definitely went through it a lot. So lots of pee pads, lots of towels, and for sure a mattress pad, if you're obviously at home. Tea, continue to drink your red raspberry and your nettles tea. But yeah, I think once again, that's it. really gave birth right here. Where were you? Were you here or were you on the side? Right here. You were right here? Right here. I was that far over or you had to reach? I had to reach. I, I took off my medicine bag uh -huh. and I was like, okay, it's time. And then I'm going to reach in first. Uh, you, you're you, returning you, this, you're facing this way. Did we get it on camera? Or did you, were you not paying attention? I was not paying attention. We were just sitting here watching you go through your surges, your waves, breathe through breathe through and then I was watching your body completely. It was like a, it was like a, not a shaking, mm -hmm. but I could see the energy going and you were pushing, we were like. Uh, uh. Did you guys watch it? Mm -hmm. Did you guys watch it? Uh -huh. No, 
Where um, I'm taking my postpartum bath. This smells so good in here. Thank you. It's wow. a lot. It's a lot going on, but I just asked them. I was like, it feels so crazy being in here. <laughs> it almost feels like I took them. I was like, we need a new tub. This needs to be like framed. <laughs> like, I don't even want to get in it. It's like a statue of our piece. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because well, you were facing this way. Okay, and you were right there. I'm right here. You guys. I didn't know. I'm right I didn't. Like, I didn't. You don't remember? No, I was. I was literally. Like this. This is how I gave birth. Wow. I was up higher. Wow. So you were, you know, tooting your little butt over this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you said I feel his hair. Okay. I feel his hair. I came over, took all my medicine bag, put my hands in the water. Okay. I went to feel first. I was like, okay. Oh, you did? Yeah, felt his hair. See, I, I don't. Wow. And I was like, okay, all right, baby, he's coming. How long in between you feeling versus me pushing was there? You don't know. It either. was, time wasn't really. I know, because I don't. I wasn't really, you know. But your your surges were easy their time. Mom was timing them. So. Because I stopped telling my mom was like, "Are you having one?" I'm like, "I haven't stopped having one." She's like, "Oh, okay, okay." So you were here, and then you felt, mm -hmm. and then the push, the first push, what came out? It was just his head. Just his head. Just his head. And then you could just see his eyes. They were closed. Oh my God. Because you started to position more. And I was like, "Babe, okay, on your next push," and you're like, and you timed it yourself. You got yourself together. That was the beautiful part. You got yourself together. You're like, okay, this time I'm really gonna push. What? I'm really gonna. I'm, okay, you ready? I don't remember and he's like, okay, I was like, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's here. He's here. He's here. Okay. He's here. He's here. And then the final push, he came out and did his little dance. It feels like it's coming out. Like your boot. The other. Yes. Like your yeah. boot, boot. So you have to really get over yourself. Okay. And just. Yeah, because you're like. Am I? Am I about to? Yeah. Like, yeah. It does happen sometimes during birth. I just, at first, I'm like, this isn't what pushing feels like. Like, okay. there's no way this is what pushing feels like. There's no way that this is what pushing feels like. And then it got to a point where I wasn't doing anything, and he was pushing himself out. Okay. And then when he would do it, I'm like, okay, so I can match that because you don't want to push too hard, or you don't know if what you can and can't do. So when he Pushed, I was like, oh, okay, so let me try to push that hard. Oh, I'll like, never forget his face underwater. <laughs> I'll never forget his face underwater. I'll never forget his face. We're just okay. watching you have a physical experience. I know your spirit internally is like, I just traveled. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's crazy. Because you remember when Dr. Surreal was like, you're not on earth when you're giving birth. Like, you're literally in the cosmos bringing your baby to life. Like, you're connecting with God and you kind of blank out of everything else. And that's what you kept reminding us. I'm grateful. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I, I remember that. I am grateful. I, I remember am that. Grateful. When I felt the hair, I was like, it's hey, oh my God. I'm so happy. When he pushed, I was like, oh, okay, so let me try to push that hard. Mm -hmm. And then I think after like three of pushes that he was doing, I was like, okay, I feel comfortable with knowing what I can and can't do. Okay. And then I remember just being like, okay, take a deep breath, breathe, this next one, try to get his head out. And I remember I was like, oh, cause I felt his head out, but then I felt it go back in. Uh, and when I reached, it was like his hair. Like I literally felt like a strip of hair. Okay. And then the next push, that's when I told Kai. Just the head and then the body? Yeah, he like slipped out after like the that second was, push. It was, I, I, really I'll, like... I'll never forget his face underwater. I'll never forget his face underwater. I'll never forget his face underwater. I'm looking, I'm just standing here like, this is really happening. So I have, I'm yeah. just trying to but be the whole time, you're like, I'm really cool, doing calm it. and collected, this is happening. I'm like, okay. As soon as, you, I'm like, babe, he's almost out. Yeah, he, he told me that. He's like, babe, his head is out. I can see him, I can see him. And I was like, you can't, you can't. And I was like, okay, focus on the push. One more push, one more yeah. push, so he's out of there. But your umbilical cord was not long, so when he fell, yeah. it surprised me because I thought he was gonna oh, just like, kind of fall into my arms and the umbilical cord was gonna be long. I had to grab it, I wanted the pool. I wanted a little mini pool. She knows I was trying to get her area pool. right from the YouTube video, a lot of things. She wanted like watched. a huge pool. I was like, uh, yeah, come on, sit in there. We don't need that. We have a beautiful yeah. bathroom. Yeah. We have yeah. like, yeah. we have. I mean, the tub was perfect. And it's huge. But I was concerned. That's why I was on my knees because I'm like, if my baby hit this. Yes, yes. And that's how he fell out. It was initially he turned his head and I caught him. I was like, oh! 
And then the water on top of it, like, oh my gosh, this is my baby boy here. And Kai, like, I was like hunched over, and Kai's holding him, and he's like, can you stand up? Honestly, I feel I'm like about the, I don't about remember. When I had, I had how I passed him back. Yeah, you did pass him back. Underneath her legs. He came out. Yeah. And then we had to, because the umbilical yeah. cord was. Oh, like, that's what my chest come up from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She okay. picked him up and was like, oh. And we had to like wrap him up because he was all cold and shaky. <laughs> <laughs> and then probably like How five minutes, the placenta came out. How are we gonna make fun of our baby? Yeah, but it's gonna make fun of you one day. I cannot wait to see what we captured. Even if it's not like everything and it turned off, like I just I really was in the day and I don't know if it was because I was exhausted, because you know I'm a grandma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or if I was literally just if I even had a full night's rest yeah. and it was in the morning, if I would have still been like zoned yeah. out. I hope we got this on camera because I just want to relive it. Yeah. I feel like I'd watch it every day for like, yeah. at least for the first year. Yeah. No, honestly, I don't. I don't remember that. I just remember saying I feel the hair. It's all gooey. Oh my god. It's gooey. I just remember hearing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you can He's kicking in the water. Oh my god. Yeah. That's beautiful. I I honestly don't. I mean, that was face this way. I had no idea what was going on. Back I mean, you, babe, we really treated it like. We were going to championship game, like here to just we know we're the champions. Let me just come in. You do your part. You do your part. Do my part. And we just come on, come on, baby. <laughs> I hope we captured it. Oh, no, because it was beautiful. But how does it feel? It feels good. It's a little. Still. Huh? Still. So, what? You still? Yeah. yeah. My only feels fine. It definitely feels like something, but it doesn't feel like a baby came out of me. That makes sense. Like I expected to be like more sore. Yeah. To be honest, I was more sore. Remember when I walk around the house and I would grab my yoni? Like that was more sore than this. Ah. Uh, okay. So I expected a little bit more soreness, but definitely there's like a little, like a little like stinging sensation. That's but, salt. But it might be. Yeah, it might be the herbs, like the peppermint and stuff. Did you put a lot of salt in there? Or did you just put a decent amount? I probably, yeah. I think I think every day I'll probably sit in it with like six inches for like 20 minutes. Okay. Of salt. That's why I want to get like three or four bags of salt and do it like, I want the water to be like foggy. Okay. Um, you love it? I love you too. Mm -hmm.